Hello there everyone, the Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 40 of our All the Mods 9 to the Sky Let's Play series, uh, where today we are channeling our inner full metal alchemist by diving into Project E. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderfully rainy day here in the world of the Andrada, where I cannot wait until we get into Draconic Evolution and I can get the... Uh, Celestial Manipulator and stop all this rain from happening. Because at this point, it's too, uh, I'm too committed now for it. And I'm not doing the weather cycle thing. Uh, anyway, uh, today we are going to be working on not Draconic. I'd love to, but uh, I'd like to work on that next week uh, since we have a full week for that. And today I'm going to start working on diving us into Project E. Never really played with Project E uh, before and EMC and all that stuff. This is the first like, real exposure that I've had to it. Doesn't seem very complicated or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let's get into Project E and see if we can't uh, work on that and finish that off. So what we want to do with Project E is, well, pop into our quest book and see what do we got to do with Project E. Now, we have already started Project E technically uh, because we have been utilizing the matter condensers over there or the whatever they're called, energy condensers, my bad. Um, but uh, we have other options for all this stuff. So uh, we are here at the energy condenser tier. And we are, our goal ultimately is to get ourselves into red matter. It is needed for the All the Mod Star. It's also like ridiculously super powered for your, um, the uh, thermogens that we have over there. Once we get to the red matter and making thermogen, putting them under thermogen is going to make them create a ton of power. I think it's something like 40,000 RF. It's like a ridiculous amount of powder, power that you can put under there. I think it talks about it somewhere. Yeah, 45,000 RF per tick per thermogenerator because it can just go that fast. So anyway, uh, our goal is to get to there and be able to make red matter blocks. But we kind of sort of have to start ourselves all the way at the beginning because we have not gotten very far into Project E. So um, let's take a look and see what we got. So it looks like we kind of have a branching pathway for creating uh, EMC for passive EMC generation. We have the antimatter relay, which turns items with an EMC value into raw EMC. Um, and you can feed it covalence dust to get free EMC. Or we have the energy collector, which is a passive EMC generation. When it is sunny, it will generate EMC. Um, and the, they can tier up to higher tiers. That makes sense, right? And how much you it can hold and stuff is dependent upon um, the tier and how fast it creates it. However, I'm not... Are we... Do we 100% need to do this place an energy condenser next to an energy collector or antimatter relay? Because we're kind of sort of wanting to go over into this route. Do I need an antimatter relay in order to convert stuff over to EMC? Because I thought the transmutation table just handled all that. So let's go this way and see what the heck happens and see if we get bottlenecked by anything. Um, so the summoning altar is where we're going to be crafting our philosopher stone. And we need a few things, um, most of which we actually we have. The only thing that is new to us is going to be this dark nether star. And I'm unbookmarking things I already had bookmarked because, you know, I, I I prepped for the episode mentally and then forgot about it. Uh, anyway, so we need to make dark nether stars. Dark nether stars are made by obsidian ingots from uh, Forbidden and Arcanus. So we make that by crafting obsidian with iron. So we need to get this going. And how do we get this? Well, it is iron nuggets and obsidian. Pretty simple there. OK, so we're going to do this. You are just a standard craft, and then we are going to smelt you into this. And I think we are in our northeast assembler tree here. And then you go into the unobtainium furnace down here. And we should now be able to craft the refined obsidian stuff that we needed. So we can go ahead and craft ourselves a dark nether star. Should be done pretty quick too, right? Bam. Uh, now, dark nether stars... How often are you used? This is it accepts any forged nether stars. It's kind of unfortunate because it's going to show us anything that is coded for any nether star. Um, but you are inception upgrade backpacks and backpacks. Do you need that's any nether star? It looks like the only thing that requires the dark nether stars is the Draco Arcanus acceptor, and then everything else is regular nether stars. Fusion crafting, yep, that's regular nether and stars. The Hephaestus Forge uh, for Forbidden Arcanus crafting and stuff would require it. And then just this. So I was going to teach the system how to make this, but I don't think I need to. Okay. So we just need the one. All right, so Dark Nether Star required. Let's get some Blaze Rods. I know I need two of those. I know we needed other stuff, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, Dragon's Breath and Mana Steel. See, there's a reason that I went for... Um, 
Batania before I did this because I knew I was going to need the Mana Steel. Now, the Philosopher's Stone, do I need more than one of these? Am I going to use one of these to create the transmutation table? And is it going to get rid of my Philosopher's Stone? I don't know. So we'll find out. No point in me gathering two of these things, though, because who knows? I could be just duplicating my own efforts here. Thank goodness. Gosh, go away. Okay, so all we have to do is pop over to our summoning altar. Not that one. This one over here. And our TNT is our catalyst. So we're going to go ahead and pop all of these other things in there. And boom. Give me a Philosopher's Stone. Cool. So we have a Philosopher's Stone. And by default, we can press C uh, to open up the Philosopher's Stone's grid. Uh, we can do other things with this too. Um, it is in cube mode. How do we cycle modes? I need to... Let's open up keybinds. And let's go with... Um, why don't I do that? Category. Category. Project E. Okay. So we have boost boots effects. We have change mode is G. Um, that is used with a lot of keys. Okay, that's not convenient at all. Extra function is C and fire projectile is R. What is using the key of C right now? Crafting grid? Just a regular crafting grid? I don't need that. Save hotbar activator? Don't sound like I need that either. Uh, Ars Nouveau, open up our book, but we don't have it. Uh, Botania Corporea, we're not using that. Configure my tools for Draconic. We probably will eventually get there. Cycle out trades with easy villagers. Don't need that. Um, this is other stuff that I don't care for. And configure installed module from modular router. Yeah, we want that. But that's like inside of a inside of a GUI, so we should be okay. Okay. I think now we should just be able to open this. Okay. Now G should just be able to switch because we don't have anything conflicting with that other than building gadgets and we don't have a building gadget tool out. So this is panel mode. What does that do? I don't know. What does line mode do? Is this for building? I know that we can like convert mobs with this thing. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on. Uh, so what are you crybabying about? Why don't we have you done? Nether Star, Blaze Rod, Mana Steel, Dragon's Breath, TNT. I did all of the things that you wanted. I didn't pick up the Obsidian with Iron, though. So I have to actually do that part. I didn't put it in my inventory, so sorry. It's because I'm so far, I'm, I'm so advanced, I'm beyond putting things in my inventory. Uh, okay, so now we have a, a branching pathway, but those are eventually going to lead in. And I know we need to do this. We need to get into the Klein Star. So let's follow this path and this path which makes sense because that's what I said we were going to do. So the transmutation table is our next major goal. It is better than an energy condenser, it claims, um, because it will forever remember the items you put in, which is better than an energy condenser uh, because I have to choose what we put into there. Uh, and you won't constantly have to put the item you want into that top left slot. Add in a blaze rod, and then you'll be able to just pull out a blaze rod. That is fantastic. Now, are you going to use my trans philosopher's stone? You are not, which is great. And I can just go ahead and immediately convert it over to a tablet form uh, and have it with me at all times. I like that. Uh, and so if we go into here and now we can, I mean, theoretically, I don't want to, I'm not going to get rid of this setup just yet. But uh, if I say that I wanted to make blaze rods, I just come into here and I go to my transmutation tablet and I put it in there and I have now learned it. Um, I currently don't I have the EMC of one blaze rod, so I can't really do anything. I need to figure out how do I get EMC into my pers personage so that I can actually, you know, have more EMC and feed items into it. But um, if I wanted to put in, say, uh, oak logs, not the four by, but regular oak logs, right? I can go into my transmutation table and I can learn that. And since these cost 32, I can pull out uh, as a blaze rods worth of these. As soon as I put them back in there, I can now pull out blaze rods. So anything that I can learn, I can put in there. However, I'm too lazy to go through and figure out what it is, everything that we can put into there. So we're just going to continue on with our quest because our next major step is to get ourselves the alchemical coal. A chemical coal is coal, but better. Um, and it is a uh, chain crafting recipe. So I know that we're going to want to set this up uh, so that we get a bunch of alchemical coal. Do I want to put this into a crafter so that this can just do this process for me? I'm going to go ahead and out on a limb and say yes, because it requires the Philosopher's Stone, which means that crafting it is going to be a pain. 
otherwise. So do I want to do I want to get a crafter with a re- with uh the requester the keep and stalker? Um let's get a crafter. I have a crafter, don't I? Yeah, I have a crafter. Uh you know what? We'll just grab it's going to have its own dedicated because I'm going to have a emitter level emitter or does the requester Let's pop into my uh, black hole hyperbox. Okay. Because that requester here keeps an amount in stock, doesn't it? Mm, But it has to know how to make it. And I'm not... Okay, yeah. So the requester does do the job that I'm wanting, like this right now, 2048 sand. If we look at our sand, we have more than 2048 available to us. And my goal is to keep alchemical coal on hand. However, if I tell it to keep 512 of these, say, on hand, the problem that's going to come is when um, AE2 has to craft, it's going to need to use the uh, Philosopher's Stone. And it should theoretically be able to, or I can just throw the Philosopher's Stone into a crafter and do the whole keep the item in the external and not have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, And then I can just use a level emitter to control how much is actually going in there. So I think that that route is going to be more more efficient for us overall. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a crafter placed down. And again, I could use this crafter, um, but the level emitter is going to turn the redstone on and it would stop everything else from crafting. So, and I don't want that. So what I want is an exporter and an importer. At this point, it would be smart to have an interface and then have the interface handle all of this, at least the imports and exports. Um, how lazy is the Andrada right now? Pretty lazy. Okay. Something like that. I don't like that. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, So we're going to want an importer. And we're going to want an exporter. Or import bus, export bus. And our level emitter. Apparently I taught the system how to make, but I don't remember ever utilizing any of these. Okay. And the level emitter is going to sit. It needs to like point at this, doesn't it? Uh, We'll do, what do I have on the top? I have the import on top, so we'll go import bus. We'll go export bus in the back. Come over here. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Everything else going to be cleared. Okay. And you are going to create, not red matter, uh, alchemical coal. Okay. Okay. And not that recipe. It's going to be this, 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 but one less. Okay. So now you know how to make alchemical coal. So I just got to stick the stuff in there. Now to make the alchemical coal, I'm going to assume it needs EMC, right? You can't just do this automatically, can it? I need a uh, power. At this point, I'm just using ender nitro or nitro ender gates for everything. No, it worked. Um, the problem that I have, oh, and it sucked that in. I forgot to change the recipe to not pull this. Uh, we need everything else that gets returned goes there. Okay. Apply. Now it should just make a whole bunch of alchemical coal. Okay. Uh, so alchemical coal is being created. We're good. And it doesn't look like it requires EMC to actually do so, which is great. Now we just got to get this redstone controlled. Um, and I think that my best place for this is going to, uh, really, it's going to be on the bottom here because I need to get... Um, cabling so i can do this um and level emitter there okay so you are going to emit when alchemical coal how much do we want to keep on hand of this i don't honestly i don't know I don't know how much is needed. How much coal do we have is the question. 11,000 and we can make it. So what about uh, 512? Does that, is, does that seem like a ridiculous number of it? Um, so we're going to emit a, a redstone mode when above or equal to the limit. So right now the redstone should be off. So we're going to tell the crafter to operate only when redstone is off. So as soon as the redstone signal kicks on, it's going to activate. Um, 
now all we got to do is tell this guy to export coal and we should be running. We do want to get acceleration cards in there, though, because the, the coal exporter is going to be extremely slow uh, and the importer is also going to be extremely slow. So we might as well just max that out. But we should be getting everything coming into here. Uh, we're also going to need a crafting card in case we need to craft coal. Because the system knows how to do that. And um, yeah. Should be getting alchemical coal coming in. Pretty simple. And as soon as we hit the 512 mark, which we're pretty close, I mean, we're already halfway there, it should light up and then this should shut off. I do want to test just to make sure that's happening because I don't want to burn through all of our coal. Um, and then if we need to adjust and get more than that, we can. I don't know less is needed, but if we need more, we can always uh, change that. Dank item level one can't open. Where'd my dank go again? Why am I always losing my dank? Did you guys see where I put my dank? It does look like it turned off, though. Yeah, look, it's not running. Dank level one. Hello? Where where could I have put my dank? I only have two inventories. Did I put it? Like, can it go into there? No. Did I shove it into... Hello? My dank. Where did you go? Give me a minute. Let me pull this footage back up. So yeah, huh. Uh, when reviewing the footage, as soon as I placed this smart cable down, uh, because I only had two left in my inventory, uh, so I placed this one and then placed this one, my dank disappeared. Literally deleted itself. Uh, so I need to get another dank going. So I got to figure out that. And then I got to remember how to change the channel on it, which is a pain. Uh, all right, but I'll work on that because it's a lot of micro crafting. I don't need the dank right now. It's not that big of a deal. I have access to everything. Let's grab some slabs and we can clean this inventory up or clean the hole up that I have going on here. OK, cool. All right, let's get out of here. Um, boom. So we have alchemical coal going for us. Uh, that is great. Now, what do we need to do? Well, let's take a look at our quest. So after we get the alchemical coal, we need to pick it up. Thank you. Okay, it didn't count it. There we go. A little slow there, buddy. Uh, so we got the alchemical coal, and now we're going to want to work on converting that into the different types of fuel. So actually, okay, I didn't realize that those were a chain. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, pop back into our black hole, and we can... Now, the alchemical coal, you are used for... Is it literally just this stuff? Okay, so making Mobius fuel, what are you used for? Are you used for, yes, it is used for crafting, and it's also used for Eternalist fuel. So I don't want all of it to convert to Eternalist fuel, um, or do I? And then I want to downcraft into Mobius fuel. I think... I think that's the play, isn't it? Uh, convert it all into Eternalist and then downcraft it. I can make another Philosopher's Stone, keep that in AE, and allow it to downcraft into Mobius Fuel and turn off Enable Substitutions. So let me fix this guy here real quick, and then add, and I'll add the, the combination, just like we do with um, the uh, Essence from Mystical Agriculture. I am going to have to change to a larger crafter here, but uh, yeah, we'll be right back. All right, so Crafter Tier 2, Alchemical Coal to Mobius Fuel to Eternalist Fuel. Uh, and I have it set to only keep 128 of these in stock because it is a lot more coal that we're using for this. Um, we'll see how that ends up. But now that we have the Eternalist Fuel, that should have cleaned up uh, all of those quests. And our next goal is to make an Eternalist Fuel block. And now the Eternalist Fuel block, can it be downcrafted? back into Eternalist Fuel? Probably should have just had it go straight up to the block form. Uh, but at this point, we can just have AE know how to make these if we need to okay but we got that quest complete done all right uh so now our other end of things is working on making the klein star and the klein star is like a battery oh there we go that answered my question for the emc how do we get emc available to us uh, so the klein star when you place it in an energy collector or antimatter relay it will take the energy from them when you place it in a transmutation 
table in one of the left side slots, the EMC stored inside can be used to convert. It'd be kind of nice if I had a wireless battery available to me, but um, it doesn't seem like that's the case. So that's the Kleinstar Ein, and then the Zwei, which is or Zwei, which is four of those, and then this is going to be four of those, um, and then this is going to be four of those, and then those. And then finally, if I want the Omega, it is those. In order to do those, though, I do need to make myself another Philosopher's Stone so that way we can teach AE how to do these crafts. And hopefully, it's able to do the down craft without any issues. Uh, so let me make that really quick, see if that works, and then um, we'll see where we end up. Okay, so let's test this out. So if I have Eternalist Fuel, okay, I want to take the Eternalist Fuel I want to downcraft it into um, the other kind of fuel, right? So Mobius fuel. So Philosopher's Stone plus Eternalist fuel should get me a, uh, Mobius fuel. I want to make sure that substitutions are enabled, though, so it's able to use this uh, NBT'd Philosopher's Stone. So if we do that, we then should be able to do this as the same recipe. I'm going to make sure I put that in there, though. That should give me the alchemical coal. and then. There's nothing else other than that other than turning it back into coal. So if we do that correctly, and if that works, we then should be able to teach the, teach the system how to make all of the Klein stars, right? Uh, so if I am able to go back down to Mobius fuel, I'm sorry, let's do, let's go all the way down the chain. Let's go down to alchemical coal. If I want to do this, it says it's missing one. So I set up another pattern provider, but I, hmm. I'm, those are substitutions enabled, right? All of those recipes were, or well, all of them, the two. Yeah. Why doesn't it work? I was hoping that would work for me. Our other option would be to set up another crafter to do down crafts of these. But the problem is, is if I do a crafter of um, the, if I set up a crafter for the up crafts and the down crafts, it's, I mean, I would just have to go a turn. I'd have to do a turnless fuel, push it in to get the Mobius and then push that. Man, that's a pain. I'd have to have, I mean, technically, I'd have two craft, two more crafters. There's probably an easier way to do this, and I'm just overthinking it. But if I had a crafter dedicated to the Eternalist fuel, or the Mobius fuel, and then I had a crafter dedicated to the um, alchemical coal, I could keep each of those in stock instead of having it like I do now. Because hmm. I can't let AE request it. All right, let me play around with this, um, and then uh, next episode, we will come back and figure out exactly how we should get this done. I'm going to experiment with it a little bit. I'm thinking that would work. If I had a crafter, I have the crafter currently bringing it up to Eternalist Fuel. Um, man, but then at that point, what's the point of having the one going up to Eternalist Fuel? I just have one for Mobius, one for... Um, Alchemical and then one for Eternalist, three crafters, three philosopher stones, AE2, a pattern provider. When I need it, it just pushes into the crafter, pulls out the uh and yeah, pulls out the requisite item with a pipe. I think that's gonna be my way to go. And then I just have three philosopher stones and I just make it on demand as needed. Uh so I'm gonna set that up in between episodes. You'll see that now uh, when we come back in. It's a pretty simple setup, it sounds like, uh, and hopefully all that just works out. So if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one. Have a good one.